Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obadah Potato. Welcome back to Captain of Industry. That's right, uh, we're back. I've let the game run for a little bit, uh, just to see if we did get bogged down in another maintenance battle. Uh, and to be honest, it looks like we've mostly avoided the the worst of it. Um, the real issue, the real issue was, is that we didn't have diesel in like these two excavators here. And that was what kind of that, that that was what kind of that was what was holding us back from digging out a whole bunch of iron ore, which was a, a little bit inconvenient, as you can see, still a little inconvenient. Uh, there's a couple of breakdowns happening, but I'm actually not super concerned because we're we're getting there. I mean, if we have a little look at the graph, hold on a minute. Uh, yeah, we're basically back to the levels of maintenance input that we were at which is kind of where we need to be. Um, maintenance output is pretty consistent across this across this time frame. So uh, once we're back there, we should be able to hold steady. And uh, I don't even think that it's necessarily worth uh, a little a little unity boost to the maintenance depot. Uh, but let's, yeah, let's wait a little bit before we can officially call it uh, crisis averted. What's the breakdown chance? 15% breakdown chance on some of these things. To be honest, that's not too bad. We could even we could even just spend a, a little bit of unity in order to fully repair a couple of these things, but uh, it doesn't really seem like it's worth it. Uh, what we could do, what we could do now that we've guaranteed ourselves uh, a whole bunch of diesel, which uh, I'm actually super super chuffed with. Uh, we could load this boat up. We could load this boat up, and we could load the uh, we could load the crew back on and we could get back to exploring which might not be the craziest idea in the world in fact if i turn off this vehicle assembly then we should probably be fine yep we're still refining diesel uh, unfortunately we only have 180 units of storage in this fluid storage which is perhaps going to cause somewhat of a problem in fact maybe 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 here's an idea getting an additional diesel storage would be a nice idea. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty good. I think that is pretty pretty good. We're gonna start to need a little bit of extra copper, so I will turn that back on as well. Uh, but anyway, let's get exploring. Let's see what we can do. We can only do a couple of extra areas, but we will endeavor to do that right now. Let's also get the research on the go. I uh, sure we'll do vehicle management, and actually, I'll probably start building a whole bunch of additional two, three, four trucks maybe. Yeah, that seems kind of reasonable. Uh, we don't need to quick build. I'm quite happy just to let the trucks sort of do their thing. Uh, we've got the fuel station. I assigned an extra truck to the fuel station just between times just because, well, you know, I, I think we I think we kind of need it. I think we can need that little that little fuel station, that little that little boost. And I also paused this flat conveyor because I wanted to stockpile iron accordingly um, because let's be real. Uh, we're still not back to to the proper iron excavation levels that we need to be at in order to in order to ensure that we're generating a, a decent amount of maintenance. And in fact, to be honest, automating maintenance might be might be something that we investigate because at the moment it needs to be delivered by truck. And if there's if, you know if there's a truck delivery, then perhaps that's just an extra stage that causes. Extra confusion, extra hassle, and uh, yeah, we could we could automate it. Oh, good, a pirate fight. That's fine. Cool. All right. Farm could not store all potato after harvest. That's that's fine. Can we explore any of these places? No. Go home. Okay. No designations available in mine tower area. It's not there. Where is it? Are we out of coal? Mining designation? No. We've got extra coal. Oh, no, 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 no. Did not mean to do that. Also, that's kind of funky there, but don't know how that's turned out. Ditch that and hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Fine. Is it copper? Are we out of copper designations? We totally are out of copper designations. Let's do that and let's do that. Nice. Okay, uh, so we do technically need 11 workers, but we should have a couple of extra workers coming in quite soon. Maintenance wise, yeah, look at that. We're back in the we're back in the positive. Finally, at long last, we've got there. 
I mean, there is a conveyor quite comfortably over here. I mean, we could. It's a little bit crazy, but we could do something like this. Yeah, there, we could do we could do something like this. And in, in fact, I think I will do something like this. There we go, and yeah, there we go. So at least at least we don't have to worry about the iron. We can always we can always add the uh, the copper in a little bit later on, but it's gonna take a lot of extra effort to to belt the copper across purely because we just need we just need a lot of we just need a lot of belt. We need a lot of belt and. Uh, I, I can't really be bothered doing that at the moment, but that's fine. Anyway, we have synthetic rubber that we're making. We have acid that we're making. We have diesel that we're making. We've got, in fact, I think that's everything from the crude oil refining area that we need. The sour water stripper, we've got that. Yep. Cracking unit. Yep. Got that. Rubber maker. Yep. Got that. Distillation plant. Got that. Basic distiller. Got that. Although we don't actually need it. Are we getting enough oil? I think we are. Funnily enough, I think we absolutely are. We've got plenty of diesel. Absolutely plenty of diesel, which is really, really good. Looks like we managed to build all of our trucks as well. That's pretty nice. Let's turn this belt back on. It's nice that you can pause belts, actually, because uh, obviously we, uh, we destroyed it before. But there's no reason that we need to do that anymore. We can just pause it. Okay, research is done. Brilliant. Let's move on. Edicts, mechanical power storage, pipes two, construction three. Construction three. I didn't realize that construction three was actually in the game. If it is, that's that's great. That's very, very cool. Is this boat loaded up and ready to go? Uh yeah, it should be. Can we explore? Can explore a couple of these. A couple of these further away areas, which we will definitely try and do. Right, that's all looking that's all looking pretty good. Should we get some more trucks perhaps? I think a few more trucks might uh might officially be in order. There we go. That's probably overkill given that we can only afford about six. Uh speaking of though, we should probably we should probably think finally about doing copper electrolysis. 16 plates plus two acid gives that. Uh, by that, I mean proper copper refined plates. Uh, let's get two. I don't actually think that we're going to need that many. Is acid stored in a tank? Acid is stored in a tank, which means that we're going to have to either pipe it over here or we're going to have to transport it via truck. Got to be honest, I I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm I'm fine with it being done by truck. There we go. We have a little bit of a worker shortage, but that's kind of to be expected. There we go. There we go. Five workers required for this. Ooh, another pirate fight. Because I have two guns, there is basically no chance. Our ship discovered a damaged cargo ship. Cool. And we've got not enough fuel to, to get back here. Okay, I mean, we, we don't really have much fuel to go very many places. I, I gotta be honest. It is a little... It's a little lame. Right, that's looking good. Let's say acid here. Let's say keep full. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. We've we've got we've got copper, and with refined copper, with proper copper, it means that we're in a pretty great position to just start cranking out some vehicles. To be honest, that's that's wonderful. I'm I'm really really happy with that. Uh, we got plenty we got plenty of vehicle space, so that's grand. Unfortunately, no opportunity for. The beacon. I might as well turn the beacon off, right? I might as well turn the beacon off. If we ain't got no 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 more people coming, why why bother? Uh getting these areas upgraded to housing level two. Is that gonna make a difference to the unity that we get? I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna make a blind bit of difference to the unity that we get. You never know. I might be I might be incorrect, but I'm just hypothesizing here. Uh, let's get this turned on now. 
Let's get that turned off. This turned on. I'll leave. I'll leave in pure copper. Uh, turned on for now. Although, let's be real, it is way more efficient. Way more efficient for everyone concerned if we're able to do the first recipe rather than the second here. So I'll just turn that off too, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, construction components. Got plenty of them. In fact, we've got eight workers that are currently free. We've got food that is... Wow, we have a massive excess of food. Huge excess of food. In fact, let's put down a storage facility here. And let's see if we can store food. And a little conveyor just to make things... Just to make things a little bit easier, we should also, yep, we should also check on our research, which is good. We're construction three, getting there, for sure getting there. Might be worth us turning on a couple of these processes again. If we don't turn on the furnace, which requires eight people, we can at least turn on the molds to at least allow the molds to, you know, to, to finish up, to finish up doing the copper exports. So that's fine. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with this. Low power. Yeah, I think that we're going to start to see that a lot more frequently, to be honest. I think we're going to start to see that a lot more frequently. You've got an excess of steam. Steam high. Missing input. Yeah, uh, I think we need more groundwater extraction. We need more groundwater extraction. Uh, it's 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 a it's a whole it's a whole problem, right? Because we need more groundwater, but if we don't have power, then we can't get groundwater. Let's let's add high pressure thingamabobber. That in there, yeah. That in there, perfect. I think that's all that we really need. We don't have the workers for it. Uh, we can stop something like this, yeah. Happy to do that. Missing input. And the output is now officially complete. That's great, that secures our groundwater situation. And we should be able to maybe off the back of that get another groundwater pump just to be on the safe side, you know? It just seems... It just seems logical. Maybe two. Maybe two, just for good measure, eh? Just for good measure. How are we doing? Missing inputs. Missing input. Ah, coal. Are we okay for coal? Now, we did redo a bit of this, but... Oh, this is funky. This is funky. There we go. There we go. Get that turned back on, that turned back on. That is brilliant. Yeah, we may have a little bit of a... We may have a little bit of a problem getting coal over here with... with appropriate regularity because now we're on low power now we have no coal and then that's yeah it's just a whole it's just a whole gosh darn thing also if it was to rain at some point that would be great that would be really good yeah rain would be rain would be real swell right now ooh fertilizer fertilizer assembly 3 electric assembly Thermal distillation, evaporation pond, seawater pump, thermal desalinator, steel smelting. I mean, desalination seems basically exactly like what we need right now. Yeah, seems pretty, pretty freaking perfect to me. Okay, do we have the water? Finally, we've got the water. 
That should give us the... Should give us the power that we need in order to power these groundwater pumps, even if it is just for a microsecond. It's just not enough. It's just absolutely nowhere near enough power, irritatingly. That is deeply frustrating. It doesn't even cost that much power in order to make this setup work, but I think we need to I think we need to either add on a whole bunch of extra water catchers, or we just need to wait until we've got this thermal desalination process done. Uh, here's the thing. I don't think that we can actually afford to wait until we get extra stuff done. Uh, extra research done, that is. So let's take, let's take action. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, cool. Oh, good timing. Good timing. Just in time. Just in time to start adding all of the water. Okay, fine. Oh, hold up. This isn't connected. Oh, my giddy ant. That's why we've got so many issues. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, well, that's a huge problem. Quick build that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we should have absolutely no issues getting all the water that we need. Filled with water, filled with water, filled with water. There we go. Tell you what, turn this pipe off. Let's not allow any water to get through here. Let's just keep this pipe full for now. If we're able to fill this completely with water, then that would be great. Okay, uh, that's good. I think that we might have fixed the, the problem there. I think we should have a... Yeah, we should have a massive surplus of power. There should be no doubt in my mind that we've got a massive surplus. As long as we can fulfill the coal requirements. Uh, which isn't a given, to be honest. Which is not a given. I mean... Is there even a coal input here? I don't even think there's a coal input. Oh, actually, tell a lie. There is a coal input. It's just a loose storage input, isn't it? Yeah, U-shaped conveyor. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's get all of that built. Let's get all of that built. Construction three. Yep, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Um, we're doing fine for food, fine for population. I should send the boat back out. I don't know why I've not done that yet. There's no reason as to why the boat can't go for a little explore. Uh, the cruise ship is fine. The settlement, peaceful settlement that we can trade with. Oh, I didn't even realize this. That's cool. Wow. Products were delivered to our shipyard. That's nuts. Anything else like that? We've got a, an oil rig. Start repairs. Waiting for material delivery. Uh, we'll start repairs of all of these things, really. I also need to build... What is it? I also need to build a cargo depot. That's right. Grind is not flat enough. There we go. That's pretty good. And a fluid module needs to be over here somewhere. Cancel that. Cancel construction there. That's a pretty stupid place for it. Try, try here instead. And we'll stick a fluid module on that as well. Is that going to make a difference? I don't know. Seems like something that we should do. No fuel is available for refueling truck. Uh, why? Hold on, pause. Ah, are we are we out of rubber? Okay, this is this is a slight this is a slight issue. We're going to have to go from here to here. Excuse me? No. What, 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 what's, the, what's the issue here? There we go. Quick build this. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, so that should allow us to start flaring the excess. And that should allow us to do that. Uh, let's go back onto the map. Let's see if we can try and trade with the settlement. 
give me some diesel. So is that going to just pop up here? It totally does. Wow. Okay, brilliant. Well, that's allowing me to, to get away very, very easily. Yeah, that's the majority of my, uh, of my shortfall covered right there. That's a pretty good cannon right there. That's a pretty good cannon. Our ship has discovered an oil rig and a couple of populations. That's fine. I don't think that we can go any further. We're going to have to go home. Yeah, we're not having particularly great trips, are we? Uh, oil rig and damaged cargo ship. Start doing both of these, actually. Start loading the ship. Start loading... Oh, we can only do one? Okay, let's load construction parts then. Construction part twos. Because we have an absolute excess of those right now. Uh-oh. What's going on over here? Crude oil source is getting low? Oh, that's a huge problem. Is there another crude oil source? Uh-uh. There's gold. There's lots of groundwater. More iron ore, but I don't think there's any more crude. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that I'm repairing the oil rig, eh? All cargo loaded. We can send the ship on its way. It should be home soon. Indeed it is. Here it is. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, let's get it going. All right. Where are we going? Oil rig. This one here. Deliver cargo. Beautiful. Away we go. Okay. There's no cargo ship available. We need to repair one on the world map. I know we're on it. Let's get these houses upgraded, shall we? Because we have uh, a little bit of an over overpopulation situation at the moment, which is less than ideal. Thermal desalination is still is still happening. As it turns out, I'm not entirely convinced that we need that we need to, to worry about thermal desalination as much as uh, we apparently do, but hey ho. Let's start up the repairs of the cruise ship, eh? There we go. Oil rig is getting repaired at a nice decent rate. Brilliant. And it should just, what, start working? Ah, we need workers. We do need workers. Oil rig was fully repaired. Cargo depot has no ship. Yeah, so does that just show as... See, I think... I think that worker... Those worker numbers are just added to my total worker numbers, which... Uh, kind of sucks, actually. Let me... Let me do that. So that takes us down to zero workers. Obviously not ideal. There we go. Now it starts working. Cool. Okay, can I get the ship to bring... Uh, to, to go home, please? Get the ship to go home. That's fine. We're going to work through our backlog of oil, which is perhaps a little less than ideal, but we can, we can just about make do. It's fine. Uh, thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Can I build another cargo depot over here? Ground is not flat enough. See, I would really, really, dearly love to build a cargo depot over here so that I don't have to ship it miles. Okay, we can't at the moment, but let's, let's prep for the fact that we're going to be able to do it soon. Uh, okay, I, I don't think that we're going to be able to get to do that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just get the get the get the cargo ship constructed, and then we'll be good to go. How did we run out of iron again? How did we run out of coal? How is that happening? Assign another coal truck, and let's also see if we can start making some excavators now. Make two. Make two more trucks. It's pretty good. Okay, at least we've got oil extraction working. It's not perfect. Do we have much diesel? We got 173 units of diesel before everything grinds to a, a creaking halt. 162 bits of iron. The coal is coming through slowly but surely. We're getting there. 
That's fine. There we go. Keep up the good work, please, everyone. That's great. How much diesel are we on? Still on 173 units. But that is us out. That is us out. I mean, we could, for example, pause this temporarily. Turn the oil thingies back on. We don't have to turn them all on. We can turn four of them on. That, that's fine. That'll that'll be okay. Uh, I should also get these these things deconstructed. There's uh, there's no reason to necessarily leave them on right now, but it's fine. Yeah, how are we doing maintenance wise? Mm, okay. All right, we've been pretty much maxing it out for the last wee while. That's a little worrying. That's a little worrying. Don't love to see it, but it's fine. Let's pause this belt as ever. Let's pause it to make sure that we're able to get the last bits of cargo loaded up. Synthetic rubber. Yep, that's that's fine. 23 bits of iron. Okay, we only need a little bit. We only need a little bit of extra. Only a little bit of extra stuff. Is there any chance that we can get in a, a better fuel tank? Because I'm... I'm at a loss. We're, we're doing such tiddly little roots in this boat. Glass making goods, power generation 2. Low pressure turbine. It's pretty good. Fertilizer. Let's go get fertilizer, actually. Now, let's do that. All right, we're fine for diesel. In fact, we can actually trade. We can trade diesel with... We can trade diesel with the other settlement or whatever if we need to. There we go. We're loading. That's grand. Uh, yeah, what else can we trade at the settlement? We can trade some iron. Oh, that's iron into rubber. I don't need that. Um, I think we probably want to upgrade the settlement as well. Yeah. Let's go and explore. Let's go and explore that area for now. We need to we need to get a whole bunch of additional iron anyway, so I'm not particularly in any rush to get that one sorted. More maintenance is indeed required, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Do we just need more trucks in general? I I seem to be I seem to be requiring a few more trucks to be allocated to all of these mining operations. Looks like we're okay for coal. Get an extra excavator over here. Still fine for diesel. Still very, very fine for diesel. Very, very fine for diesel indeed. Crude oil source is getting low. Oil rig is full output storage. Yep, I know Cargo Depot has no cargo ship. I know we're working on it and also not enough workers by two. Probably because we got that extra that extra maintenance, right? Uh, that extra maintenance, what am, I, what am I talking about? I was looking at this when I was looking at maintenance. Uh, probably because we got those extra excavators. Maintenance excavators kind of sounds the same if you kind of squint really, really, really hard, I guess, at the word. Anyway, that's fine. Thermal desalination has been done. I don't think that we need anything there yet. Looks like the two extra trucks that we've assigned to this operation has made uh, a little difference, which is grand. Still filling up with diesel, which is cool. Still fine for maintenance, although I feel like maybe I'm I'm due a boost. Yeah, damaged cargo ship. The damaged cargo ship is ready to go. We got a settlement. Brilliant. Let's go home and then let's get this cargo ship. Uh, let's get this cargo ship deployed. Man, we need so many workers, so many workers. Are we better in terms of maintenance now. Eh, a little, a little less bad. Is there anything else that we can get for the settlement? Because to be honest, we kind of need more unity. We can need more unity if it's at all possible. Where the heck is all my unity going at the moment? Maintenance depot, research labs, rubber maker. Why is the rubber maker? I can just remove the boost on that. That's not a priority, is it? It is a priority in terms of the fact that it takes 20, sef 20 seconds, gives us four. Yeah, so 
that was being boosted in order to ensure that we were able to keep pace with the amount of distillate that we were outputting. But let's be brutally honest, we can just burn off the excess distillate. And so that that can be removed for sure. So very happy to remove the boost there. Not an, not an issue. I might leave one of the maintenance depots on boost. But even that seems a little bit excessive given the massive amount of bonus research that we're, we're getting each and every month. So yeah. Cool. Population back in town. Cargo ship. Cargo ship is ready to rock and roll. Let's make sure that we keep that full of fuel all the time. And then let's go and take the short little jaunt across the ocean here. The, the boat doesn't even need to be filled. It can quite comfortably be... can quite comfortably be on a uh, half tank. A half tank gas. Okay, research-wise, what else... Maybe this, actually. Household goods module? Yeah, I think this. I think this will allow us to get even more unity, right? Steel smelting? I have no idea. No idea what that's going to do. Ship bridge? That's pretty cool. Radar system? Where the heck is the radar system? Maintenance. Ooh, better quality maintenance. That's kind of nice. Custom routes dumping filters? Ooh, that is very, very nice, too. Greenhouse? Exhaust filtration allows us to get sour water and low pressure steam. Mm. Wastewater treatment. Mm. I suspect that that's probably going to mean more in the future. For now, not particularly sure that it means much at all. I would love a large truck, though. I'd love a large truck. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that after we get done with, uh, with fertilizer. For now, let's not worry about it too much. There we go. Okay, resume the iron to the uh, construction part manufacturing. Yep, happy to do that. Let's check on the map. Damaged cargo ship has been repaired. Uh, it did say something there that I didn't catch, but it's fine. Number of ships repaired, number of ships discovered. Yeah, it did say there was a little message that did pop up, but I didn't see what it was. So it was repaired here, right? It was repaired here, so there's a good chance it might just take a little while to... Yep, arrive. Perfect. Okay. Uh, it's got crude oil on. Oh my giddy ant. It's got crude oil on. The fluid module happens to need four workers. Well, I think it's kind of imperative that we get those four workers into their position. Okay, so this is clearly going to take a little while. Clearly going to take a little while to unload. Ugh, it's fine, 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 I guess. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, how on earth did I manage to get this? How on earth did I manage to get this working? And yet, can't seem to... Can't seem to dump in the ocean. Over here. Was it because it was an uppy slope? An uppy slope is apparently the, the way to go. Okay, um... I don't want an uppy slope. Let's try a downy slope. Okay, all right, that's uh, that's a no-go. Right, as it turns out, crude oil deposit over here is uh, our crude oil processing over over here is is shockingly irritating, but it's it's fine, I guess. Um, I think this is one of the, those occasions where you kind of have to say, even though it is remarkably inconvenient to do, it would be silly not to pipe it across the world. It's, I, I kind of hate doing this, but uh, there we go. Okay, and let's pause and 
actually destroy probably all of these pumps. There is a little bit left in the crude oil deposit. 2,000, 2,600 units. I guess, I guess I'm fine to leave these two, these two things just sort of pumping away. Getting three crude oil every 20 seconds. It's gonna, it's gonna eventually destroy the source, right? Let's get steel making. Cool. And then let's also keep full at 96. There we go. And 157 construction parts. Is that really how many I'm using? This is a pipeline. This is a heckin', a heckin' chonker of a pipeline. That is for sure. Okay. Uh, the boat probably doesn't need to be repaired, but probably should be repaired at some point. Let's go explore here. And let's just get, uh, let's just get exploring. Let's get exploring. We also probably need another buffer for, uh, for diesel storage. Is this all working accordingly? Should be. Pipeline looks good. Yep, pipeline looks absolutely fine. We're sucking the resources out of the module. We're sucking the resources off the boat. I mean, that's... I assume that that's an unlimited amount of crude oil. I've got to assume that that's an unlimited amount of crude oil. It doesn't really... Yeah, it's got to be an unlimited amount of crude oil. I mean, if it's not, I'd be shocked. If it is not, I would be shocked. Man, this game is just so good. How is this game so good? How does it pull it off? How does it... How does this game pull it off? It looks so jank, and yet it is so good. Alright. Let's keep that full, keep that full. I don't think we have any issues, believe it or not. I don't even think our food supply is a particular issue. Oh, fertilizer. We do need to get fertilizer. Fertilizer synthesizer. Hmm. Electrolyzer. So that gives us oxygen and hydrogen. And what do we need? Oh. We need to defeat a pirate ship first. Easy. And we got another oil rig. Ship is too damaged. Oh, come on. You know I'm going to send it home and then we're just going to immediately send it out again. Uh, yeah, the fertilizer synthesizer. The fertilizer synthesizer requires parts level 3, which means that we need to get a electric assembly thing. Construction parts plus copper. Oh, that's it? That's all that we need? Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. I might have made a mistake here. Thankfully, we got a very, very large buffer of copper. But that's... It's a blooming good thing that we didn't... We didn't end up going OTT there. That's, 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 whoa, that's, that's tight. That's close. That's close. It's close. Okay. This is all looking fine. Yep, we've got plenty of coal. We've got plenty of water. I say plenty of water. We don't have that much water. It's not an excessive amount of water. But we do need to get... We don't have corn seeds. I thought we had corn. Irrigated farm and a farm. Yeah, I thought we had more. I thought we had more stuff, but hey ho. Okay, uh, more workers. Let's let's turn on this blast furnace here, so we can actually refine copper slightly faster. Growth increased by zero point zero five percent minus one unity. That's maybe something that we want to do actually. There's also more edicts that we could perhaps roll out. Alternatively, maybe we just yoinking down another... Maybe just yoinking down another uh, thingamabobber. Another research thing. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, the copper, the copper shock has somewhat recovered. That's grand. It's a blooming good thing too. Is the boat back in town? It is. Let's get it repaired. You know what? 
Uh, we have the ability, what is it called? Pipe balancer? Balancer allows distributing and prioritizing products using embedded two outputs. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let me, um... I wanna... Well, I actually don't care that much, but let's let's do this anyway. Right. Ditch that. Rework this. And then we're gonna build to a storage unit here. Outputs. Outputs. Input. And let's say iron. And we want to prioritize outgoing products from ports marked X. Yes. That's exactly what we want. So we're going to prioritize outputting to this one. So we should see 100% output until this backs up. And then we output to this one. And this is where we're gonna this is where we're gonna store a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, if we could get better storage capability, storage three, I would rate storage three. That would be real good. Let's let's get better conveyor belts, even though I, I probably don't need them. I probably just need to actually get the electric assembly down. I need to get it done soon. Yeah. Let's go and do that. It's fine. And let's get get copper in here. So now this should be a hundred percent fully automated. Maybe not keep full all the way, but definitely the more fuller we can keep it, the more better things will be. Also, this research lab needs to be turned. Oh no, the research lab is turned on. It's just the beacon. The beacon's turned off. That's fine. That's fine, just checking. Okay, any more places that we can explore? There sure is. We're still unloading here with no issues. That's grand. Very, very cool. I need to do not enough maintenance. Are we are we running low on maintenance? It's concerning. We can always get maintenance level two, and in fact, we probably will. Water facility, housing, food market. Yeah, we've got all of this. Okay, and let's branch off here. Look at that. It just works. It actually just works. Whoa, 14 people? I'm going to pause the... Well, I say I'm going to pause the depot. I'm not going to pause the construction of the depot, but I'm probably not going to utilize it immediately. It just seems impossible. Impossible to afford at the present moment. Uh, we're going to have to turn this back on. I think we're gonna have to turn this back on. Let's pause one of these and let's start growing the population. I mean, it's gonna cost us unity, but I mean, we have to, let's be brutally honest, we have to do it. We actually straight up have to do it. Okay, how are we doing? Full for oil. I think it's getting to the point where even though there is still a tiny little bit of oil left under the ground here, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna pause all of these because I need the workers more than I need uh, than I need the oil. Let's turn that on. Uh, even though we're not gonna worry about it, location explored. Ooh, electronics. Now I suspect that that is probably just about the limit of how far we can explore on a single tank of gas for this ship. Two pops, nice. Okay. So we're starting to grow. 
No active disease. Oh my lordy, disease. Ah, the oil rig cost unity as well. I, I didn't spot that before. 24 months of food supply. Yeah, we need to get fertilizer. We need to get fertilizer. 16 people for the research lab. Uh, we need to get another research lab down. Research lab level 2. Let's get it built. Not going to quick build because it's absolutely not necessary. But uh, we are running low on maintenance. Our maintenance is not where it needs to be. We basically need to get another maintenance facility. Or we need to boost one of the current maintenance facilities. Let's, let's do that just for the sake of now. Uh, and because it doesn't cost us, it doesn't cost us people. We need more workers here and we just do not have enough workers. That's fine. Okay. The boat should be back soon. That's going to give us a, a few new a few new pops as well. We'll turn that lab on. That's great. New pops. 20 pops. It's brilliant. Let's actually get this upgraded. And we're now getting to the point where we need to start thinking firmly about getting fertilizer. Because if we don't get fertilizer, then we're going to be in a much worse position uh, all round. As far as I can see. A much, much worse position. If I was to get, if I was to get extra rainwater harvesters, which we can definitely do. Just sort of line them up here. Yeah, something like that. We get ourselves a storage buffer. There we go. Unfortunately, I think that this rain has come a smidgen too early. Is that research done? Excellent it is. Brilliant. Yeah, I think the rain came just a little too early. Cool. And we'll store water. Oh, we can do the uh, this desalination thing, of course. The water, the water salination. That's fine. Uh, Thirty-one workers free. Let's turn that maintenance depot on. Let's turn the boost off to make sure that we are still gaining unity rather than losing it. That's always a that's always a goal. How are we doing for copper refining? We are fine for copper refining. That's grand. Electric engine assembly. We'll get to that in just a mo. Let's send the boat out in a quest. Can't explore, can't explore, can explore. We'll do that over there. Okay, uh, electric, asse electric assembly three. Okay, that turned back on, that turned back on. We still, believe it or not, just need way more population. We still need way more population. Wowzers. That's bonkers. That's absolutely bonkers. I wonder if we can perhaps cut back on some of these groundwater pumps. I suspect not all are being used all the time. Yeah. Okay, population is continuing to grow. At least we're making some sort of progress now. Like, that's that's good. Population population increases. Uh, yeah, they're, they're good. They're good. We need we need to see them more regularly. You know what? I'm going to set this to be prioritized as trees that need to be chopped down so that we can perhaps get some irrigated farms over here. Let's go and get some research done. Fertilizer yet yeah, totally freaking useless until we get those until we get those uh, construction point level 3s. What did I need? I need storage, maybe conveyor belts, greenhouse, glass making and goods. Glass making and goods is pretty exciting, to be honest. Water treatment is a big old no. Large truck as well. You know what? Let's get glass making. Let's get glass making so that we can make large trucks, eh? That seems, that seems pretty cool. That seems pretty good to me. Location explored, 19 pops. A whole bunch of extra stuff. 
I think we, I think we're at the limit. I think we're at the limit of what we can do with this current size fuel. All right, fine. Oh, look at this. Population is growing. Excellent. Housing will get upgraded. And it will get upgraded very, very, very soon indeed. We're fine for maintenance now. This is good. This is good. Everything's coming together. Everything's coming together. The only thing that does sort of worry me a little bit is the um, is the food supply. And if we're able to get fertilizer synthesizer, then that'd be great. So it's hydrogen and nitrogen that we need. And we get... We get hydrogen... Get hydrogen from an electrolyzer. Nitrogen, though. I, I'm not sure how we get nitrogen. Uh, hold on. There was an air separator in there. Nitrogen we get from an air separator. So we need to... We need to electrolyze regular water. And we need to separate air. Okay, so it's a little bit complicated because they're in different locations. Uh, as in the, 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 the buildings are in different locations. But that's fine. If we get that, then that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, so let's get some some of these down. Electric assembly. Assembly electric three. Wait, hold on. Can we make... Oh, straight up we can just make them here in the electric assembly things. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize. Okay, let's, um, let's, let's space it out. Let's give it a little bit more. One, two... Three. Sure. Three three for now is, is okay. Let's go there. Let's go there. And let's go there. So copper parts are kind of going to be... Copper parts. What am I talking about? Copper plates are kind of going to be the, uh, the in-demand thing at the moment. Now, of course, we've already got copper storage all the way over here. Is that a good ingress point into the system? Or is it maybe straight up just worth us belting across here? I mean, it's going to take us a whole bunch of parts to do. But I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like maybe that's... Maybe that's what we need to do. Right, let's go there. Yeah. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Try and keep it somewhat organized. At least it looks... There we go. At least it looks respectable at the moment. That's good. Uh, excuse me. There we go, and there we go. Does it look funky? Yes, it does. Do I care? No, I don't. Right, research, we are, we're getting through it now. Large truck, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is that going to make a huge difference? I don't know. I don't know if it will. But we should. Yeah, we should be making, we should be making these things. It's brilliant. Unit storage, let's go here. And believe it or not, after all that, I think we still have a couple of uh, construction parts for conveyors as well, which is great. Construction part threes, excellent. Look at the number of workers that we've got. Oh my lordy. I, what, what, can I, what can I do with this many workers? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I do need to turn off my growth boost. Yeah, turn, turn that off real quick. Uh, because our food supply is going to start to wane. And in fact, what I should do, what I should do, what I should do is I should get another irrigated farm or two. 
There we go. And let's continue to prioritize this area for removal. How are we doing in terms of dumping stuff here? Uh, it's not great, not great actually. We we need to we need to make some we need to make some effort on on actually getting up here because once we're once we're out of trees in the lowlands, we're gonna have to move on up to the to the highlands in order to get uh, to get trees. Okay, mine tower area. No no mining designations available. Not for that one. Not for copper. Copper is fine too. Must be iron then or sand perhaps. It's iron. All right, brilliant. To work. That was a close one. That was a close one, but narrowly avoided. I suppose that is the definition of being narrowly avoided. Okay, let's go potatoes. Let's go manure. Quick build five unity. No, I, I think that we can potentially wait. Oh, I say that, but it might be a little while before we're able to do it. Let's quick build, uh, yeah, six unity. Sure. And we will yoink in a pipe right here. Uh, we'll yoink it in from the output, though. So as not to make it messy. I know what you're saying. Orbital potato? Messy pipes? Surely not. Surely you must be thinking of a different orbital potato. Indeed. Wow, we are absolutely... It's happened again. It's its actually happened again. Wow. How on earth did that end up happening? So we've got, yeah, all of these things have got full water. And we're just not able to connect up. That's... That's weird. That's... That's annoying, actually. I need to I need to double check all my pipes to be honest to make sure to make sure it all works out. Maintenance is good though. That's that's fine. We're at 560 pops. We got a 26 or 20 25 workers free and a 20 month food supply, which is great. Large truck research is complete. Oh, that's so beautiful. Ah, we need glass. Okay, so we're going to need to start working on the glass tech tree in just a sec. But that's fine. Tree harvester. Ooh, that's nice. Radar system. How on earth do we get the radar system then? Let's work on the greenhouse. And let's see if we can try and explore anywhere else. Not enough fuel. Not enough fuel. Not enough fuel. Not enough fuel. Maybe do here. Yeah. And then maybe there. Maybe there as well. But I doubt it. It's fine. Okay. Uh, gloss. Gloss, gloss, gloss. And fertilizer. I was working on fertilizer production. How on earth is this not built yet? Let's get that, let's get that in there. And let's get that in there too. And let's get this built as well. I know that costs a heck of a lot of unity. But uh, to be honest, the, the fact that it's done means that we don't have to worry about it anymore either. So that's that's just that's just great. Small excavator has no fuel. We should never run out of fuel. We should never, ever, ever run out of fuel. Unless, of course, unless, of course, we do run out of fuel. In which case, that's a problem. Produced, used. I mean, it looks like... It looks like we're fine. But we could really do with another... With another, uh... Heavy distillator. Something like that. Yeah. That's probably... Probably somewhat prudent to consider. Probably somewhat prudent to consider. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, fertilizer. I do want to sort fertilizer. Oh, it's been a while since we've come across a pirate, eh? These visuals looking better. Oh, radar system. Brilliant. That was the one thing that I needed in order to get ship bridge uh, in the tech tree. Uh, yeah, I, that, that was good. That was really good. I'm looking forward to those visuals being improved, though. That is, that is going to be nice. 
Okay, so we need to get some additional heavy distillation plants. That's fine. Electrolyzer, that takes water. I mean, do we have excess water here? We totally do. So an electrolyzer here would be fine. But I mean, do we want to make fertilizer around here? I guess I, I don't really have any issue making fertilizer around here. That's fine. Okay, get that built. So that gives us one component. The other component was an air separator, industrial mixer, glass mix. Okay, that, that's fine. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, might as well build this over here. Cool. Blast furnace, use glass mix coal to make molten glass plus slag and exhaust. An oxygen furnace is what makes steel. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. Fluid storage, we need three. Nitrogen. Oxygen. Hydrogen. And oxygen. Oh, nice. I like that. H2O, O2. That's, that's cool. Right. Again, it's going to take a little while. Also, it seems like, seems like we need more wood. Let's build a little, I can't build a large truck yet. I can't build a large truck. I cannot build a large truck, and that is disappointing. Should I assign some more trucks to wood collection? There we go. Get two trucks that are on wood harvesting, eh? Yeah, that seems fair enough. Also... This water facility could absolutely be serviced by a pipe. Probably wanted to output from here, though. Yeah, the pipe pipe over there would be would be very acceptable in my mind. Uh, I'm also kind of thinking that we build it right now. So if we build it right now, then that means that we just don't have to worry about transporting water over here ever again. Which is just so much easier to, to deal with. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Are we good on woods? We're better on wood. Not enough fuel for refueling truck. Yeah, I'm starting to think that we are we're in trouble. Uh, we are unloading crude. We are unloading crude. Why is it why is it taking such a darn long time? It shouldn't be. Connector. A hundred and seventy bits of oil waiting in this pipe. Is that normal? Now it's starting to decrease as it should. Okay, good. I, I, don't, I don't know why that, that didn't really work. Uh, turn these all back on. How? It says I need two workers. Okay, good. I guess I did my maths wrong. Of course, two, two times five is ten, which is exactly what I had three. Uh, that's that's fine. Okay, so so fuel is uh, somewhat of a commodity in demand at the moment. Now we can get an edict that would actually decrease fuel usage across the entire across the entire system. Now that is absolutely sticking uh, a plaster or sticking a band aid on the on the situation. Crude oil resources getting low. Yeah, yeah I, I know it's fine, but I don't I don't care. It's it's okay. Can we explore any of these places? Nope. 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 But it's a good thing. It's a good thing that after we're done with the edicts, we can move on to ship bridge, which allows for greater exploration. Ship engine, ship weapon, ship bridge, fuel tank upgrade. That's where that's where the magic is gonna happen. Large excavators kinda nice. Yeah, okay. That's, that's good. Okay, so we got a greenhouse as well. How much does the greenhouse cost to build? I gotta check, right? 
glass. Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of glass requirements here. There's a lot of glass requirements. That's it's irritating, actually. Right, industrial mixer, salt. How the hell do we make salt? Glass maker, molten glass gives you glass and slag. Salt. I don't think I've seen the recipe for salt anywhere. I tell you what, though, I bet you anything. Seawater pump. Thermal distillator. Evaporation pond. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That is it. Okay, wow. That's a... Okay, so glass and... Glass and thermal distillation, believe it or not, are intricately linked. In a weird... In a weird way. Uh, that's... It's fine. Fertilizer, synthesizer, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Yeah, that's actually very, very cheap to build in the grand scheme of things. Is there a construction part for... I haven't actually checked. There is a construction part for... But nothing else at the moment. Get a fertilizer synthesizer. I'm just gonna fit the fertil the, the the construction part four in here. I'm sure that will have absolutely no ramifications later down the line. Let's get that built and it's this and this. Okay. Uh, let's go research. Let's go ship bridge. It's good stuff. And let's pause that for now. I think we're managing to draw even on food supply, even with this massive, massive, massive population. Which kind of makes me think. Let's get that introduced, because we do need to do that. Food consumption increased. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's... Let's get population as well. It's gonna cost us it's gonna cost us two unity a month, but boy oh boy oh boy, I think it's gonna be worth it. Are we okay for iron? We're not okay for iron. What's the issue here? Yeah, fuel. Fuel is the issue. Um Let's pause this temporarily. We gotta make sure that we prioritize at all costs maintenance. Although we've got such a large backlog. I'm sure this is gonna be absolutely fine, right? I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, we should be able to... We should be able to make some fuel savings... ...fairly easily. We need to get another cracking unit. Probably need to get some more distillation chamber things. Which we can do... ...fairly easily. Yeah. It really just depends on the availability of... Trucks and fuel to refuel these these uh, excavators. Yeah, maintenance should be fine. Maintenance will be fine, I have no doubt. Fill up the, the excavators. Hey, look at that. Excavator is back on the job. Brilliant. Good stuff. And the ship bridge is due to be completed soon. Okay, um, surprisingly... No maintenance issues in this episode, uh, at least none that I have seen. Uh, there maybe was a couple. Uh, it was a couple bits and bobs at the start, but nothing, nothing major. No power issues. Uh, no food issues. Uh, our food is drawing, you know, ever closer to, to zero. But of course, it, it'll do that as it's used. Uh, that's fine. I'm I'm okay with where we are. Uh, we we are in a really really good place. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Captain of Industry, ladies and gentlemen. My name, of course, has been Obert Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic Patreon supporters. patreoncom forward Potato. Thanks to Banana and Banana, Banana, and the Relio for being the two twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.